Hi everyone, my name is Heidi and I serve as the missions director here at RCC. So glad that you could join me for a time of prayer. If there's anything that we can be praying about uh, with you or anything we could be praising about with you, please let us know. You can post a comment here or feel free to call the church office and we can put it on the prayer vine, or if it's something that's confidential, you can ask that it just be shared with the staff and elders. And you can also email your request to the office, which is office at rochesterchristian.com. Well, it's been about a month or so since we've met online here and prayed for Roman. For those who maybe haven't participated in one of our prayer times before, we've spent many of our times together praying for a man who we're calling Roman. Roman's a friend of one of our missionary partners in Asia who has been in prison unjustly for 15 months now. His original trial was scheduled for June 30th, and at that trial, Roman was given a continuance um, so the case could be reinvestigated, which was important since there were many inconsistencies in how the prosecutor and police had investigated the case originally. The process of reinvestigation was supposed to take three to four weeks, and then the trial was going to be rescheduled. But we are now about a month and a half into the reinvestigation process, but no significant marks have been met yet. And as our partner said, the wheels of so-called justice um, are continuing to move slowly. Our partner asked us to pray that this process would speed up and that Roman would finally be released. You may remember too that at the beginning of the pandemic, the prison was locked down and visitors were not allowed in. The prison has slowly been making steps to, uh, towards reopening, and our partner asked us to pray that this process would continue to move forward so that he and his co-pastors would be able to have longer private meetings with Roman. But even the short visits that they're able to have with him right now are an encouragement to Roman. And a while back, a few of you had written letters to Roman but when our partner brought them to the prison, the guards wouldn't let him give the letters to Roman. And our partner is hoping that if the prison reopens completely, that they will now allow him to give the letters to Roman. He said that he'll probably have to bring the letters in one by one instead of trying to deliver them all at once. And when our partner went to visit Roman recently, he said Roman was more anxious about his situation than he had been. So let's pray for the Lord to quiet his spirit and give him abiding peace. Our partner also asked that we would pray for the Lord to give Roman strength for each day and that we'd finally see justice prevail. Our partner said Roman is encouraged when he hears about everyone who is praying for him, and our partner is encouraged too. So let's spend some time now praying. And as usual, I've pre-written the prayer simply so I don't slip up and say Roman's real name. All right, let's pray. God, we declare that you are the living God, the one who makes our hearts and flesh sing for joy. You are our king, and we will ever be singing your praise. Before time began, now and for eternity, glory, majesty, power, and authority belong to you, the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Turn your face to Roman and hear his prayers. Roman is blessed because his strength is in you. You lead him through the valley of weeping and make it a place of abundant life and growth and beauty. You lead him from strength to strength. You, God, are Roman's sun and shield. You bestow favor and honor upon him. No good thing do you withhold from Roman because he walks uprightly. O Lord of hosts, bless Roman because he trusts in you. Father, we ask that you would speed up this reinvestigation process, but also that it would be done accurately and completely. Help them gather all the evidence needed to prove Roman's innocence. We continue to ask for wisdom for the judge and integrity for the prosecuting lawyer. Give them hearts that fear you, Lord, so they are not ruled by corruption and self-gain, but by what is right and just. When Roman or his fiance begin to feel anxious or discouraged, or when they begin to despair, we ask that you would quiet them with your love and fill them with your unshakable peace. Father, thank you for the steps the prison has taken to reopen the visitors. Thank you for the times our partner and his co-pastors have been able to visit Roman and encourage him in person. 
We pray that even longer visits would be allowed so they would have ample time to pray together, read your word together, and worship you through song. We pray that this would not only further strengthen and encourage Roman, but would also be a witness to the guards and the other prisoners of the joy your followers have because of your goodness and faithfulness. We pray too for your favor upon our partner as he once again tries to bring our letters of encouragement to Roman. We pray the guards would show him kindness and allow him to deliver the letters. We pray the letters would be a source of joy and strength and encouragement to Roman and that he would meditate on the scriptures shared in those letters and cling to your promises within them. God, we ask that we would soon get to see justice finally done for Roman and that he would be released from prison. Ultimately, we trust in your sovereignty, your timing, and in your perfect will. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We love you, God, and we know you love us more. In the conquering name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, just as soon as I hear anything more from our mission partner about uh, Roman's case, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And in the meantime, let's continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with Roman through prayer. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.